Welcome back to another Dragon Ball Fighters video, ladies and gentlemen. Today I wanted to try something a little bit different, and I wanted to speculate with you guys as to what these three final DLC characters just might be for Season 3. Because we already know this is going to be UI Goku, as the release date is planned, not confirmed, but planned for May 7th. And we also might be doing a giveaway for UI Goku, so feel free to subscribe for that. Alright, so real quick, let's run down how we're going to do this. I compiled a list full of characters that you guys told me you wanted to see in Season 3 DLC. And I scrubbed the internet, found photographs of these characters with their natural color, where their color is not being obstructed by light. And I'm going to check their colors against these colors right here to see what characters will and won't make it. So, starting off with Whis, a lot of people wanted to see Whis as DLC. And without picking any of the colors here, we can see that none of his colors actually match this dark blue, green, or brown. We already know silver is going to be UI Goku once again because the planned release date, as well as the silver color. So the white hair isn't going to quite cut it for Whis making it into the cut. So moving on to the next one, we have Topo. And Topo has this brown skin, which matches the brown at the bottom, but if we go ahead and we put the two next to one another, we can see it's more of a beige, as opposed to this really, really, really mustard brown. It's not even remotely close. Like, if anyone wants to say that this is due to lighting on Topo, at no point does Topo ever look like a mustard bottle. So I don't think he's going to be quite making it into the cut. And his God of Destruction form is predominantly purple, and there is no purple here on this side. Now here's an interesting one. We have Omega Shenron. And if we look, Omega Shenron has a really pure blue stomach, as well as the actual Dragon Balls and like neck area. And if we place that right here, it seems to pretty much match with the color they're given. As you can see, they're not exact, but it is pretty close. Also, lending more credibility to Omega Shenron landing it into the game is Data Miner's found data for Omega Shenron, if I remember correctly. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I do think that has happened already. So I'm thinking Omega Shenron is going to take up this slot. I got a couple of different pictures of Hercule because he does have like a lot of changes to his actual um, colors throughout the show. And no matter the picture I grab, his shirt color just does not match up. And neither does his skin. It's way too light in order to actually match this color right here. And I also think we have a better fit for this color right here later in the video. But sadly to say, I don't think Hercule's going to be making it into the game. Alright, so Master Roshi, the one that we all want to see in the game. I grabbed a lot of different photos of him because he changes his clothes quite a bit. And this orange clothed Master Roshi, while it may be a different outfit variation if they decide to go that route, this outfit does not match his older style of clothes. So I think if we do see this outfit, it may be an alternate costume, unless the color they're referencing is from his wooden stick. But either way, I'd like to see this outfit if Master Roshi does make it into the game. But I do think we'll be seeing Master Roshi in more so something like this. Because if we check out this color, it is a lot more similar. It's not exact, but it is a lot more similar, so it does lead me to believe that we may just see Master Roshi in the game. So I think the possibility is definitely there for Master Roshi. So we'll put Roshi right there. Now that we have Roshi on the board, another two fan favorites were Tapion and Raditz. Now Tapion doesn't really have the same brown, as you can see this is a lot more orange, but he does have this little headband thing, which if we look, it is a very similar brown. I'd even argue it's a closer brown than Master Roshi's. Now I do think Master Roshi is a little bit more likely to be in the game just because he has a lot more of a connection to a lot of the characters in the game. Like he knows all of the characters and he can have special dialogues between the majority of them. Also it'd be really cool to see a dramatic finish where he does like the Mafuba against Goku Black or Fuse Zamasu. As to where Tapion really only knows Trunks and he doesn't really bond with any of the characters in the cast. And we can't leave out Goku's brother, we have to check him out as well. Now, Raditz is known for his brown Saiyan armor, and that brown has much too red in it in order to be the brown that we're seeing here in the preview, which sports out much more of a yellow. But, Raditz does have these little wristbands, and those are a closer match than his armor is. Now, admittedly, a lot of the colors for the DLC characters are pretty spot on, like Kefla's red and her shirt are almost exact. And this is true for the majority of DLC characters, so I don't think we're gonna be seeing Raditz based on this premise, but man, I hope I'm wrong. I hope Raditz makes it into the game. This guy kidnaps Gohan, so you have special dialogue there. He fights Goku and Piccolo, so you have, once again, special dialogue there. And you get to have a dramatic finish between Raditz and Piccolo. And it'd also be kind of dope if they made the dramatic finish only possible if you had base Goku on your team. Just to make it so like that all three of them have a dramatic finish together. Now, before we get to this very last character, I kind of wanted to throw Deborah into the mix, because I know a lot of people want to see Deborah, and I was one of those people. And Deborah does sport a lot of blue, so I just want to test the blue of Deborah 
against Omega Shenron to see how close these come. And I'm not gonna lie, this is also really viable. Like, Deborah might end up being who that blue is. I'm still leaning towards Omega Shenron just because, if I remember correctly, Data Miners already found data for Omega Shenron. But I'm hoping that's not true, I'm hoping that's not the case, because personally, I like Deborah a lot more than Omega Shenron. So we'll put Deborah there as well, just in case. Now, although I know a lot of people wanted to see Super Saiyan Blue Evolved, or Evolution, or whatever it's called, as a DLC character, I doubt they're gonna do that. So because this form of Vegeta is just a step above Super Saiyan Blue, and Super Saiyan Blue's already in the game, I doubt we'll be seeing this form. And this is also why I don't think we're gonna be seeing Majin Vegeta either, because it's still the same form of Super Saiyan, it's just he's taken over by Bobbity. Which is a shame, because I'm gonna be honest, I really like Majin Vegeta, so if they don't mind giving us alternate costumes and making Majin Vegeta one of those alternate costumes for Super Saiyan Vegeta, I'd be 100% down for that. Now to move on to our green boy, there are a couple of green characters throughout the Dragon Ball history, like Lord Slug for example, but he's not really a massive fan favorite. Like out of all the people that you guys requested, no one requested Lord Slug. So I'm excluding him from this list, although he also has green skin. Not to mention, you also have the two Namekians in the Tournament of Power arc, but no one really even remembers them. <laughs> Despite the fact that they had a pretty cool fight against Gohan and Piccolo, they weren't a massive, massive role. So that only leaves one green guy that we can possibly have left as DLC, and that's a fan favorite. Goldo. <laughs> All jokes aside, Bojack, Pycon, and Zamasu seem to be the three standout characters that not only have green skin, but would also be somebody that people would enjoy in the game. Now, Zamasu's skin is not saturated enough in order to match this green at all. As we can see, it's a lot lighter. It's, it's nowhere even close to being a match. I grabbed an image of Bojack from the movie, and while his light areas are really, really light, more so than Zamasu, his dark areas have a lot of saturation, unlike Zamasu, as we can see there. So there is a possibility we might see Bojack, but I have one other character that I think they can make the cut before Bojack, and that's Pycon. Now, if we look at Pycon's skin and compare it to the color we see here in the preview, it's actually not too far away either. So I'm not sure which one it's gonna be, but I'm thinking it's either gonna be Bojack or Pycon. I think it can go either way. This was my speculation video. Let me know what you guys think of it in the comments down below. I know there's other characters like Baby Vegeta, you know, Moro, for example that people want to see. So if you have a favorite DLC character that you speculate might be in Season 3, leave it in the comments down below. For those of you guys who are new here, feel free to subscribe. We're going to be covering all the DLC updates for Dragon Ball Fighters. Also, if you would like some more Dragon Ball Fighters content, you can always click any of the videos on your screen now. We have rank fights, we have combo tutorial videos, and much, much more. Lastly, massive thanks for hitting 200 subscribers with me, guys. We did it, man. We're like, we're really growing this channel, and it's a lot of fun. So thank you guys for the love and support. I really appreciate it. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.